I was walking in Savannah, past the church decayed and dim, when slowly through the window came a plaintive funeral hymn. And my sympathy awakened, and the wonder quickly grew, till I found myself environed in a little country church pew. Out front, a young couple sat in sorrow nearly wild. On the altar was a casket, and in the casket was a child. I could picture him while living, curly hair and smiling lips. Oh, I'd seen perhaps a thousand in my hurried business trips. Then rose a sad old country preacher from his little wooden desk with a manner sort of awkward and countenance grotesque. And he said, now don't be weeping for this pretty bit of clay, for the little boy who lived there has gone and run away. He was doing very finely and he appreciated your love, but our heavenly father wanted him in the big house up above. Now, the Lord didn't give you that baby, not by no 100,000 miles. He just thought you needed sunshine, and he lent him for a while. And he let you keep him and love him until your hearts were bigger grown. And these silver tears that you're shedding now are just interest on the loan. Just think, my poor dear mourners creeping along on life's sorrow way. What a blessed picnic this year baby has today. All your good fathers and good mothers crowd the little fella round in the angel's tender garden in the big plantation ground. And his eyes, they brightly sparkle at the pretty things he views. But a tear came and he whispered, I want my mom and daddy too. But then the angel's chief musician he teach that little boy a song that says if only they be faithful, they'll soon be coming along. So my poor dejected mourners, let your hearts with Jesus rest. And don't go criticizing the one what know the best. He hath given us many comforts, and he's got the right to take away. To the Lord be praised in glory, now forever. Let us pray.